Today I want to give you characters of a dead church. Do you know there are some dead churches which seem to be so much alive but they are really purely dead. Uh, like what the Bible says in uh, the book of Revelation chapter 3 verse 1. The Bible says, Unto the angel of the church of Sardis write, These things says he that has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works, that you have a name, that you are live, but you are dead. So there are churches which are purely dead, but to the face of the people, people, they think that this church is alive, all right? So you as a believer, you are supposed to be able to recognize these kind of dead churches so that um, you can be able to stay away from them, all right? And uh, this is the reason. If you continue staying in dead churches, then you'll be dead like them. At the end of the day, you'll not be growing, you will not be moving um in any direction you'll just be lost and uh so i'm going to give you some indicators which are going to show you some of the dead churches now number one in dead churches you'll find that uh, the gospel is ignored or it is misinterpreted in most cases gospel is the true intention of why the church is built all right and the gospel is the message of jesus christ that is his death burial and resurrection and uh, you will find that uh, most of the people, they don't want to preach this. And remember, the Bible tells us in the book of uh, Romans chapter 1 verse 16, that I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. So if you're a believer, that is a core message. But if you go to a church whereby the gospel is always ignored or misinterpreted, somebody will preach any other thing and leave out the gospel then there is a problem because in the whole bible it's supposed to be all noting or pointing to the gospel of jesus christ all right so a, a dead church in most cases preaches a false gospel that is a, a mostly like prosperity gospel which is uh, talking about uh, jesus died so that you can be rich and wealthy and things like that and uh, healthy and uh, there's also another gospel, the self-esteem gospel, like the one Joel Austin preaches in most times. You will see this one is uh, Jesus came to boost your confidence in ourselves. You know, I am this, I am that. That is a false gospel, all right? And the, there's another gospel called the social justice gospel. Jesus came to address social issues. You know, you should not do... Well, Jesus came to bring salvation and everything else will align itself. So... True gospel is about how God reconciled uh, us to himself through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ at the cross. Okay, So now, another character is uh, we find uh, in a dead church, you will find um, they tilt towards legalism. Legalism and uh, um, licentiousness. All right? license to do this license is like you've been given some license to do wrong things let me start first with legalism now when we talk about legalism legalists believe they are accepted by god for following a set of rules like for example the way we see the sabbath adventists they believe that if we keep saturday then we are going to uh, go to heaven because of a certain day the others like catholic for example they say uh, if uh, you, 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 you have to eat the sacraments, you have to do this, that's one way of going to heaven. So many religions, they speak legalism. You have to do this. Even Protestants, they're talking about tithes and offerings and all that. If you don't do that, then you're not going to heaven. That is legalism, selling fears, all right? And um, they will give you all sorts of things. And the Bible already warned us concerning that in the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 2. Uh, to four, it says, Behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if you be circumcised, circumcision was part and, of the law, Christ shall profit you nothing. If you are circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. I'm not talking about the actual circumcision, I'm talking about following the rules of the law, the law of Moses. All right, for I testify again to every man that is circumcised, that is a debtor to do, do the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you whatsoever you are justified by the law. You see, people will think, okay, 
because as a Jew, uh, uh, people needed to be circumcised, people needed to go and take uh, animal offerings. So you can choose, oh, I want to give animal offerings, I, want to, I must be circumcised, I must do this. I'm, I'm not talking about the culture aspect, I'm talking about the law, so that you can be able to think that because I'm doing this, I'm getting salvation. No, you're just being in legalism. And uh, of course, there are so many things concerning legalism whereby people refuse to show grace to other people. And at the end of the day, it, it makes a lot of uh, mess. Now, when I talk about licentiousness, is uh, whereby people, they think because of the grace of God, we have the license to sin. This is also another character of a dead church. You have seen this with churches like, for example, uh, this church is being led by Lovi, uh, led by this other... He's called his spiritual dad. He's, he's called what? This other guy. These two rasters. Eh? So, you see, like, for example, in the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 3, the Bible says, Dear friends, though I was very eager to write to you about the salvation we share, I felt compelled to write and urge you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to God's holy people. For certain individuals who con whose condemnation was written about a long ago have secretly slipped in among you. They are ungodly people. Did, have you seen those people? Ungodly people hmm, who pervert the grace of our God into a license for immorality and deny Jesus Christ, our only sovereign Lord. Now, these people who believe that there can be, there is a license to sin. They try to tell you, oh, because we have grace now, we have achieved everything that you want to achieve. Let me sort out my baby here. So we have a license to sort out anything we want. We can live the way we want. That is a hyper dispensation. That is a character of a dead church. Now, quickly, I'll also speak another character is that in such churches, there is no love. When you find a church where there is no love, love has been replaced by pride. You find that uh, in a church, the pastor is too proud. You have to use protocols to meet him. You can't just go and speak to him. There is a problem. There is a, that's a, a character of a dead church. Because uh, the Bible says in John 13, 35, that this, by this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. So if you don't love one another, that's a character of a dying church. All right? And the Bible has spoken much about that. Let me also go to the last point here. A dead, a dead church also denies essential doctrines, the main doctrines of uh, Christianity. Like, for example, they deny the deity of Jesus. They say uh, probably Jesus was only fully man but not fully God, or he was only fully God but not fully man. They deny the deity. They deny that salvation is by grace through faith only. They deny so many things. And these kind of churches, those are red flags. You should stay away with that because that shows that these kind of churches, they are lost. So those are, the, are some of the characters which I can give you concerning dead churches so that even as you choose a church to go or you choose maybe uh, some online preachers on YouTube, for example, there are people who don't go to church, they just watch on YouTube, then you can get to hear first are these people preaching exactly what the gospel is all about go and check what are their core values what do they believe in what are their core principles because if you don't get the core principles then at the end of the day my friend uh you're just wasting your time with those people they are lost so it'll just be another lost person among them so i hope this made sense to you and i hope uh, it blessed you